Hello, and welcome to another edition of One Bad Veggie's Rugby Review, where in this review, we're going all the way down to the bayou. So with this review, we're doing Swamp Pop Filet Root Beer, um, which is uh, based on a Louisiana recipe. Um, filet powder is something that's used in a lot of Cajun cooking, from what I understand. Um, it, but what it is, is it's actually ground sassafras, which at this point, we all know how important sassafras is to the creation of root beer, as it was the thing that originally created sarsaparilla, which then eventually became root beer as we know it um so that that's kind of interesting now of course this root beer doesn't actually I, I don't believe uh it has actual filet powder in it um being that sassafras is such a controversial herb let's say in uh the states which it shouldn't be but hey whatever um so uh, and like I said, this one's a re-review. Uh, I did kind of look up my old score on this one. Not great. I'm curious if my, uh, my, uh, score has changed at all. You know, once I get done re-reviewing all the root beers that I have found and, and I've been re-reviewing, I should go and make a video where I compare old scores to the current scores and see how, um, how much my taste has changed. If it's changed at all, maybe it's all the same. Who knows? But, um. Uh, or similar at least but anyway uh yeah let's go ahead and get right into the ingredients so let's go ahead and get into the ingredients which should be appearing right here and um the first thing to notice and this is the main thing that i kind of noticed right away was the fact that filet powder is not actually listed as an ingredient on there and in fact when i'm when you're looking at the uh instruction or not instructions the description on the bottle which let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that when you're looking at the actual description on the bottle, now that's not the interesting thing, is that it says, you know, traditionally, this is how we used to make it, which I'll show you that part right now. Let's see. So this part right here. So reading through it, it's kind of like a description of this is, a, you know, this is our, our original recipe, use this, blah, 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 blah. And how now that the current recipe is a version of it that is trying to reproduce the original flavor that uh, the so that the root beer had, which um, I, I think it's weird to claim that it's filet filet root beer when there's actual no filet powder in it, at least according to the ingredients and according to the uh, what I understand what the history is saying on the back of the bottle. Um, the other thing that's kind of frustrating, and I always find this frustrating, is that uh, on the on the description of the bottle, it says that it's using uh, cane sugar, uh, Louisiana cane sugar specifically, uh, and it says it on the front of the bottle there. You can see premium cane sugar cane soda, uh, but on the actual ingredients, it says sugar, and I've said this before, just saying sugar on um, a bottle doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually pure cane sugar. Now I'll take these people at their word because they say it in multiple other spots on the bottle that is pure cane sugar, that it is actually pure cane sugar. But it always bothers me because, you know, I have heard and I believe that I that this is true, that, that saying sugar, just sugar on a bottle could mean that it's a corn syrup still. Um, but like I said, I, I'll take them at their word on this one. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, um, I guess let's go ahead and crack this one open and get ourselves a little bit of the scent. All right, let's go ahead and pop it open. All right, let's, oh, I'll tell you right now, I had it down here and I could smell it immediately. And it's definitely got like an... um very herby uh very um well you know on the bottle it actually says let's see here uh this root beer tr highlights this classic losing flavor creating an herbal profile that's a good way of describing it that's immediately what i would say with an herbal profile mm -hmm. yes it almost <laughs> So it, it is very kind of earthy, very kind of herbal, which is not uncommon for a root beer. I dropped the cap. Um, it almost, strangely enough, makes it, how do I put this? Like a, like a, 
anyone anyone who's watching this who's ever had like a um not a Pepsi or like a Coca-Cola, but they've had a cola from a, a another, not, not like RC, none of the major brands. Let's say like Sprecher's Cola, right? Let's say you've had a Sprecher's Cola in the past. Um, there is a difference in flavor there. And, and, and the flavor difference is usually very, uh, also herbal, I would describe it as. And this has that same sort of thing almost like a cola and, and 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 i've said many times before that there are a lot of root beers out there that almost kind of lean towards cola instead of root beer especially when you start kind of having those herbal notes and stuff like that so um yeah okay let's go ahead and get to the pour and the foam so here we are with the old reliable lovely uh trusty mug let's go ahead and open this up and let's see how it looks it doesn't look bad but let's go ahead and see if we can get a little bit of a uh, foam before it dissipates Oh, wow. What a unique flavor. Um, I will say with the foam with this one, now usually I, you know, I'll go ahead and talk about how if it sometimes it's bitter, sometimes it has hints of what you're going to taste. In a strange way, I could almost tell you that this one, I feel like gives away a lot of what it's going to taste like. Um, it was a very full flavored foam um very interesting um where do i go with this one the taste of the foam gives a lot of the herbal profile again um i feel like just from the scent and just from the taste of the foam it's giving away a lot of what it's going to do and what it's going to taste like I think this one's going to be very unique. I'm not sure I'm going to like it. Um, which looking at the old grain would make a lot of sense. But again, it's a new day. Um, so who knows where this one's going to go. But uh, in my experience, uh, the more herbally, the more... Um, uh, uh, you know, I repeat this thing almost every video. But you guys know what my preferences are. And this definitely feels like it's going down the one path versus the other path. And and weirdly enough, I'm not really getting a lot of... Not that it's not sweet. It is sweet. It is sweet. But it's not the kind of sweet I'm used to from a root beer. So I'm very curious about this one. Let's go ahead and get into the taste test because I'm super curious. All right. Bob's up. What a curious drink. What a curious drink. Um, how do I describe this one? So what I was saying before about how cer certain root beers almost go down a cola-esque path versus a root beer. And I feel like a lot of times they're the ones that kind of, like I say, lean more on the herbal flavors and stuff like that. And this one is absolutely that way. Now, I kind of understand why I would have given this one. So, okay, f full disclosure, in the past when I did this one, I gave it a D. And I don't usually like talking about the letter grades when I'm talking about the taste, but I think it's important. Um, The reason I would have given this one a D, I know for 100% of a fact, without even having to go back and actually read the review, that the reason I would have given it a D is because this doesn't taste like a root beer, not a root beer in the sense of your classic root beer. It doesn't even like like when I talk about like how 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 root beers can be anise heavy and stuff like that, or how a root beer can be creamy, or sometimes it sits right in the middle. Um, there's a specific taste that you're thinking of when you think of a root beer, and and, and even with those two uh, big spectrum differences, um, the root beer still you still recognize it when you're drinking it that it's a root beer, right? This one has that cola thing going on. It tastes more like a 
a, a, a E. cola than it does a root beer necessarily. And, and that is definitely why I would have given it a D in the past. I would have probably said something along the lines of like, um, whether it tasted good or bad, it doesn't taste like a root beer. So I have to give it a D right now. I don't know if I feel that way necessarily these days that if something doesn't taste like a root beer, does it deserve a low score? If it's still tasty, because that is the thing I will say about this one is that it tastes very good. I like it quite a bit. Um, but the thing is, is that if I was craving a root beer, I would not go for this one. But if I was craving a Coca-Cola, I might buy myself a six pack of this instead, because it does kind of hit that need more than the need of what I would want in a root beer, you know? So I think that's the that's that's a, a simple way of describing the flavor. It does actually remind me in a lot of ways, kind of, of Sprecher's, uh, I think it's called Puma Cola, um, just flavor wise. Now, the thing is, is like I've had Sassafras before and and if their if their point is, is that Oh, well, this root beer is made in a more traditional way that would remind you more of sarsaparilla. It doesn't remind me of that necessarily either, because sarsaparilla just tastes like. Um, well, let me put it this way. If you I mean, if you I'm sure you've had if you're watching this, you've had sarsaparilla before sarsaparilla uh, has something about it that like uh, it doesn't necessarily taste like root beer, but it it reminds you of root beer, right? Where this is a root beer. That reminds me of a cola. I think that's a very different thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to think about the letter grade on this one, because like I said, I don't think it's necessarily fair that I grade it the way that I did before, where I just gave it a D just because it doesn't taste like a root beer, right? Because that's not necessarily fair, because if the drink still tastes good, oh, but it's so hard, though, because if I give it a good grade, hmm, OK, you know what? Let's go ahead and stop this right now. Let me think about it for a second. We'll come back and we'll talk about this. Okay. All right. All right. So, like I said, the debate with the grade on this one. Do I grade it low because of it not tasting like a root beer? Or do I grade it high because it's still a tasty drink, right? That's really tough because because like I said it just doesn't it's it's hard it it would be hard for me to give this one a high grade no matter how good it tastes it could be the best tasting soda I've ever had in my entire life I could not it's a root beer review right it's 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 a review of 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 root beers you're looking for root beers I think what I'll even though I don't necessarily think it's fair, but I also do think it's fair. I think I have to stick with what is actually the original score for this one, a D. And I, but with the caveat of saying like, this is a good drink, guys. Like it tastes good. It just doesn't taste like a root beer at all, really. Like, I mean, there's a hint of it in there, but it's, it's, it's really not, right? But the thing is, is like I said, it would be a, like if they were selling this as as a cola. I, I'm not sure if Swamp Pop sells a cola. I'm pretty sure they do. And I'd be interested in tasting it. Maybe it tastes like a root beer. Wouldn't that be weird? But um, yeah, that's where I'm going with this one, because I cannot give it a high score for a root beer, but I can recommend it as a soda. You know what I mean? Um, it really is kind of unique in its own way. I, I, I think people should try this and uh, see if they like it. Cause even if I, like I said, if it doesn't, even if it's not fulfilling kind of like what you want to for a root beer, I think it's still um, good enough to at least try it just to, um, just because it's good. You know what I mean? Like. I don't I don't know how else to put it. It's it's such a unique um and I and, and I feel bad for uh grading it low for its uniqueness because its uniqueness is its strength. But it just doesn't taste like a root beer and I I I think that's it. So yeah, D. 
And that's it for this one. Go ahead and like or subscribe or write a comment or don't do any of those things. Just enjoy the review. Uh, otherwise, uh, sorry for this one being a little bit late. Uh, coming back from vacation, my schedule is a little crazier than it used to be. So, um, and it kind of just kind of threw me off for the week. And so this one ends up coming out a little bit later. I'll, I'll try to stay on schedule. Um, you know, maybe not always Fridays at noon, like like it, it's supposed to be, but uh, definitely uh, on the weekend for sure. But I'll still strive for Friday at noon. But uh, for now, just let's just say, uh, let's just say uh, every weekend there will be a new <laughs> One Van Veggie Rope Review. Uh, so that's it for now. And uh, I hope you had a good time.